So in this video, we're going to look at a basic example to really get the ball rolling with Newton's second law. A particle of mass 15 kilos is attached to the end of a light vertical string. The particle is accelerating vertically downwards at a rate of 5 meters per second per second. So let's draw a diagram of this. We've got this particle. It is attached to this string and it is accelerating downwards at 5 meters per second per second. Okay? We're first asked to find W, the weight of the particle. Now the weight of the particle is going to work vertically downwards. Okay? And we know that the weight of a particle is equal to its mass times gravity. Okay? So, when I'm doing this, I'm thinking, right, mass, 15. Gravity, seeing as nothing is given here, I'm going to use 9.8. Um, either the question would say, or it would say at the front of the booklet if it didn't. Okay? So, 15 lots of 9.8. Okay, do that on my calculator. So, 15 times 9.8 is 147. So, 147 newtons is the weight of the particle. Okay? So, that's A. Now, the tension in the string is what's trying to pull uh, the string back into position. Okay? So, what we've got here is a situation where we're accelerating downwards, okay? I've got the weight of the particle and the tension to consider. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to resolve the forces, and I'm going to resolve vertically downwards, taking downwards as positive. And it makes sense to take downwards as positive as that is the direction of motion, okay? Because I'm accelerating downwards. So, this utilizes our F equals MA. So, the forces acting on the particle. We've got W working directly downwards. We've got T verting, working upwards. And that's equal, that's the net force, is equal to mass times acceleration. So the mass was 15, the acceleration is 5. So it's not equal to 0. If it was an equilibrium, we'd be putting this equal to 0, but it's not. So 15 times 5. So 15 times 5, 75. So the tension is 147, take away 75, which leaves us with 72 newtons. So the tension is 72 newtons, OK? So that is how we can look at a basic problem and bringing in these concepts of F equals MA uh, and utilising the weight and tension of a particle.